All right. Um, today, I'm going to be presenting a couple of workflows from the Maven plugin. And to do that, I'm going to share my screen. Um, can you guys see my screen? Yes. OK. Um, <clears throat> all right. So the Maven plugin uh, is supposed to allow Java developers to use Pulp uh, to post a pull-through cache of Maven repositories. And it also allows uh, Maven users to deploy their projects to a repository hosted by Pulp. And I'm going to uh, demonstrate both of these use cases today. Um, so I'm going to be going through the documentation um, that's available on pulpproject.org for the Maven plugin. Um, and we're going to begin by uh, creating a repository that's going to be used as our pull-through cache. In order to do that, you must first define a remote uh, that's going to have a URL pointing to a Maven repository. Uh, in the Maven world, uh, Maven Central is like the big repository in the sky. And so we've created a, re a remote that's pointing to it. Um, and then uh, we need to create a repository uh, that will have um, uh, the Maven um, remote associated with it. And so we'll create this remote. And the last thing that you have to create is a distribution. And creating the distribution is what's going to allow clients to get content. Um, and so now we have a distribution that points to a remote and a repository. Um, and when we go to our content app, we'll see that there is now Maven Central repo, which is the distribution that's pointing, uh, giving us a 404 when we try to look through it, because there has not been any content added to it. Um, so in order to actually get some content, we have to build our project. Uh, let me make this even bigger. Um, and I'm going to tell Maven to purge the dependencies that it already cached from when I was building the project before so that the dependencies will be requested again from Pulp. Oh, actually, before we do that, I skipped a step. We have to add Pulp as a mirror to Maven. Um, and this is in a Maven settings file. So let's open up the settings file and take a look at it. Um, and I create, I added a mirror. I'm calling it Pulp Maven Central. As you can see, it's pointing to my local host port 5001 uh, to that distribution that I created. So we've added that. And so now we can run Maven dependency purge local. This is going to purge the local dependencies and re-download them from Pulp. Um, let's see. Um, one sec. Yep. Actually. Uh, it's because I was getting 404s early. Um, how do I force it? <laughs> I'm not a Java developer. Um, and uh, this is unfortunate. Um, hmm. I'm 
I'm thinking. <laughs> Maven. I have no idea how to work through this problem. Um, Maven doesn't like that it got 404s from the repository earlier, and it's now re not trying. <laughs> um, well. What's uh, that's uh, let's see. Matthias is suggesting in the chat to try uppercase dash u. Dash u? Yeah, uppercase. Thank you. All right, so the, the it's now pulling the dependencies from pulp. And we can see it in the logs here that, that pulp is serving up all this content. And what it's doing is that it's streaming it um, and saving it in pulp. Thank you very much, Matthias, for the suggestion. Um, this is going to take a few minutes. Um, well, maybe like two minutes <laughs> or less. Um, OK, so then uh, the next uh, thing that we need to do is we need to uh, create a repository version from the cached content. Because whenever it's being uh, cached, it's not being added to a repository version. So if an orphan cleanup job gets run, it will get deleted. And so we will run a task to create, to add cached content to the repository Maven Central. Um, and so then now, uh, our content app is showing that there are all these dependencies in here. Oops. Um, that can be downloaded from Paul. So then the next thing we want to do is we want to take the project that we're building and deploy it to Paul. And so in order to do that, we're going to create actually a separate repository that's going to host the projects that we are working on. Um, we're going to call it Maven Releases. So we created this new repository. We are also going to create a distribution for it. So we now have a repository and a distribution for hosting projects that we're going to be deploying. And now we're going to configure our project with this repository. And so in our project, we have a pom.xml that uh, defines two repositories, one for the releases and one for snapshots. Uh, we only created the releases repository just now. Um, and so we, and since our version is 1.0.0 without the dash snapshot on the end, um, Maven is going to try to upload to this repository when we deploy. So I can run Maven deploy. Well, first of all, let's look at our content now. Um, we have Maven releases, and there's nothing in there. Um, we're going to run Maven deploy. And it's uploading to this Maven releases repository in pulp. And now we have the project published in Pulp. Um, multiple repositories can be defined for um, Maven. So uh, systems 
using pulp for Maven repositories would define both the mirror and this releases repository in order to consume this project that just got deployed to there. Um, let's see. I think that's all the features that we have in Pulp Maven now. Um, what's next is uh, RBAC needs to be added to Pulp Maven. Um, right now, um, it's completely disabled. Uh, actually, uh, authentication is disabled on this uh, API for deploying. Um, but yeah, the next step is to add RBAC so that users can be either given access to, you know, push to a specific repository or be able to pull from specific repositories. Um, in uh, the real world out there, um, most repositories can just be read from, but you need to authenticate to do the deployment. And that's what we're going to support in Pulp Maven also. What questions do folks have? Jared. Um, do we, is it possible to sync from a Maven repository? No, uh, we, well, I uh, consider doing that, but there are so many artifacts in these uh, repositories, like the Maven Central, that it would uh, not be practical to sync all of it. Uh, Matthias? Um, adding to that, I think for uh, Python, which can sync from PyPI, we do have filters to not sync every last bit of those terabytes. Um, I want to add when you consider adding RBAC from experience, it's it's nice to just add domains on the same go. Yes, that is and definitely the goal. <laughs> and I appreciate makes yeah, it easy. Um, uh, one last thing, you said that when you download content through the pull-through cache, it's not added to the repository. Um, can I suggest that when you have a distribution associated with a repository and a remote, then it's a pull-through cache and the content should be added to the repository? And when that you have a distribution a only having a remote, then it's just like a proxy and not even keeping the stuff. Yeah, uh, that is a great suggestion. Um, the feature for the pull-through cache was developed before we had this association of the repository also with the distribution inside of the Maven plugin specifically. Um, so it couldn't have worked that way then. But I will go ahead and file an issue to um, make that possible. And I so believe saying, we'll have to make some changes in uh, Pulp Core to make that possible. So you're saying if we did not specify the, the repository, it would have still worked? Yes, it would have still worked. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, and even if I wouldn't have created a repository version, it would have, uh, the subsequent requests for that content would have been coming from Pulp still. It's just in order to create a repository version out of it, you have to run a separate task. And it will collect all the stuff that was created since the previous repository version was created. Brian? Um, am I right in understanding that Pulp Maven and uh, Nexus are kind of in a similar space? Yes, they are. Uh, the project that I was uh, demonstrating from is actually from the Nexus examples project. And it's the plugin, the Maven deploy plugin, um, can deploy to Nexus or to Pulp. And um, this is a tough one because I think it requires a lot of 
preps. I'm just going to be upfront that this is a tough question to answer. Um, from a high level, do you have any sorts of comparisons between these two projects? Like, should Nexus users, are Nexus users able to consider Pulp Maven as an alternative? Should Pulp Maven users be considering Nexus as an alternative? I know this is a hard question. Um, Pulp Maven, the goal for Pulp Maven is to be a drop in replacement for Nexus. We're not quite there yet. Uh, one of the features that um, I would like to see us implement is where you take this repository that we created for the pull through cache and the repository that uh, we're using to deploy the projects that we're creating um, and create a repository that presents to a user a merged view of the two so that you don't have to configure the two repos and you just always configure one and it's presented you know even though in the back there are two repos uh but consumers can use this like hybrid repo i forget what it's called in nexus but they have a feature like that where it's a uh virtual repo or something like that cool thank you Uh, Ina? Am I right to, when I say, am I right to understand when you type Maven deploy, it uh, fetches the content from Pulp and deploys it? And is it like one jar or is it a, a set of content which is being uh, deployed? When, yeah, so in, okay, in the first command that I ran where I had to download a bunch of stuff from Pulp, um, one of the things that it did was actually built the project also, my the simple project that I had. Um, and whenever I ran Maven deploy, it took that already compiled project and uploaded it. It did not upload any of the dependencies into Pulp. It only uploaded the simple project and the metadata about it. OK. Um, I was wondering, like right now, we do some preparation steps where we create a distribution and repo, we trigger some downloading, like caching of the content, and only after that, that content can be deployed. So I was wondering well, if this step, these steps could be skipped. So whenever the Maven client says, Maven deploy whatever project, Pulp would be transparently creating those like repos and downloading the content and serving it yeah. right away basically to skip this preparation step. This is something where, where we are working on in bulk container world. Uh, I don't know if it's possible for Maven though. Yeah, uh, I mean, that is a wonderful suggestion. Um, and from looking at what Nexus does and Artifactory, um, they just pre-create those for you. So whenever the first time you start them up, those repos already exist and uh, users don't have to create them and they can just create other repos, but these that are used by everybody are just pre-created with the migrations that run. And I think it would be useful to do the same thing here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate all the suggestions and the questions. If there are no more questions or suggestions, uh, I'm going to stop the recording and we'll have a little break. I'm stopping the recording. <laughs>